Hello, brother sewing and crafting family. I'm Angela Wolf. And I'm May Flom. And we have something very fun to you, fun for you today. Crafting and wait, I love your tree. Oh, thanks. So this is, it's sitting up on a chair. It just kind of seems to follow me around. Sometimes it's in the studio. <laughs> sometimes it's here when we're live. Just kind of, just a little bit of colorful cheer and fun. Oh, I love that. It actually looks so cute. I brought two of my trees up yesterday for the front of my building, and one of them it has a bad leg. <laughs> it's not real. So I said to my husband, we got to, like, lean it up against the wall. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But what are... Hey, hi, Marcia. I see everyone rolling in. So uh, today we're actually doing things. Are we decorating ornaments today or coming up with ornaments? We are. We are. So we're going to do, this is one of my favorite ornaments that we're going to do today, year after year. So I thought to start, I would just say, you know, with the scanning cut, I pulled up. It was funny because just walking from the studio to here, I came up with a couple different projects that just are out on display that the Scan and Cut made. And I was like, oh, well, we'll have to show them that first. And then we'll jump into the ornaments because the ornaments are my absolute favorite. So here is, oh, it's, battery has died. That's okay. I'll have to get a new <laughs> battery. But it's a light up joy sign. And oh, I put all these little Scan and Cut flowers and leaves and things. And this is like three or four years old at this point. So it's really held up. So it is probably time for a new battery, but it is really held up with just all the different fun little bits and pieces. And this sits over by the front door usually. And then actually I'll put that over here. Oh my and gosh. Then here is a stocking that needed a little fun. So we added a little vinyl there. That's adorable. So much fun. And then this one is actually just went up on the Brother Crafts, the Scan and Cut blog. Oh, and let's see that. That is a wreath. So it's a fabric covered styrofoam wreath. And then I put all kinds of different bits and pieces cut with my scan and cut. Um, and they were all, let's see, on the skill on the machine that I have, they were all built in files too. So that was all just here we go, let's create. So That's lots and lots of those. There's lots of different ways that you can use the scan and cut. And I myself have been eyeing my staircase. And thinking I should make some like really big flowers, layered flowers, and like put big layered flowers. I think that would be fun. Um, that would be gorgeous. I actually put uh, the blog dot scan and cut dot com right. See the website right, right below you guys. That is the one where you can go and see her project that she did there that she just posted. In case you didn't know that, because a lot of times I'm sending them to blog dot brother sews. This is the scan and cut blog. So the two different blogs oh. of great projects. Correct. And you know what? There's a lot of different ways like that. Or you could make like simple little banners. You could make gift tags. You can make cards. I mean, there's all kinds of fun things that we can make easily with our scan and cut. But I'll tell you my favorite and probably the most requested is I make little ornaments and I'll show you this one here. So this is one for this is one from last year that I couldn't give up that I kept. So here we have Mickey Mouse on there. Oh, and wait, let me bring you closer. That's so cute. So there's Mickey Mouse. Oh, I love that. And it's this one is full of se little sequins. So it shakes. And then this one is one that I started this year. I haven't filled it yet, but this one says Happy Holidays. And I was thinking I would cut like little, um, or I don't know, I'll cut or do something with like little bones or little something like that. So the Fun thing about doing clear ornaments is you can take the top off and you can put whatever you want in there. So I've put ribbons, um, I've put things like uh, confetti or sequins, buttons, beads. I mean, you name it, you can put it in here. And one time for a friend of mine that does a lot of hand embroidery, I put a bunch of different threads and um, oh. some money. Actually, I put money in there too because you could tuck you could tuck bills in there if you wanted. <laughs> So I'm just saying money. If I put money in my ornaments, my nephews will have that tree ripped to pieces. <laughs> that is, it's well, when be I do that, when I'm making it for a gift, what I'll usually do is secure it with like some ribbon at the top and tie it to um, maybe like um, in that case, I actually had like a loaf of uh, pumpkin bread and it was so it was like tied to the top of the loaf that I of pumpkin bread that I gave her. And as she's looking more closely, she's seeing that, wow, these are threads that I could use. And oh my gosh, there's money in here. <laughs> so there's a lot of fun things you can do. And especially in years where, you know, you're trying to be creative or have a little fun with it. 
I think that custom ornaments can be a lot of fun. And I'm going to show you how to make these. Because so um, before you so get started, many. I'm just going to let everyone know, because I see a lot of new people in here. So if you've never been here before, we are brand ambassadors for Brother and so we are live on the Brother So's Facebook and YouTube page. We can see your comments. And as she rolls through this demo, we can see your questions. And I will take a break halfway through and take those questions for you. Mail, be sure to answer them. If you want to watch this episode again, be sure to share it to your page. Or you can come back to Brother's Facebook and YouTube page anytime to watch. And lastly, I see so many people saying where they're from. We have the whole world, I think, covered today. I'm watching so many. And happy Thanksgiving to all of you early. And uh, say where you're from. You never know. Your neighbor might be sewing or crafting next to you. So that's all, May. It's all yours. <laughs> well, these are. And these are so much. The, these shows, we have so much fun. So what I'm going to use today, these are sheets of vinyl. So this is like a sticker, like a sticker vinyl that you would think of. Um, to make different whatever you would make to stick it onto things um, versus a heat transfer vinyl, which would be a vinyl where you would need to use your iron and iron it onto a material to seal it. This is sticker based. So I'm going to cut a piece of this because we don't actually have to have the full sheet. You can use the full sheet or you can just use a partial sheet to work with. That's up to you. And as far as color goes, I mean, you can use whatever color you want. The only advice that I would give you is, I'm gonna pull one of my ornaments out, one of my new ornaments out here. The ornament's clear. So if I do white and clear, I would probably wanna have something pretty bold colored inside to offset so that you can really see what's going on there. Uh, otherwise, if you wanted to have, say a brighter color or a darker color, then maybe it wouldn't matter as much or you could have something lighter inside. You just want to make sure that whatever you're putting on the front, that you're actually going to be able to see it and that whoever you gift it to or keep it for yourself, but wherever it's going to go, that you can actually see the hard work that you've put into it. Because obviously you would want to have that. That's a good tip. You don't want to do all that and not be able to see it for heaven's sakes. That's right. And the other thing that you'll need, this is a chunk of transfer material and transfer material is exactly what it sounds like. Essentially, this is a, I call it like temporary sticky, meaning our vinyl once cut is going to stick to this so that we can move it from the sheet onto our ornament. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. Um, so if you're thinking, wait, what, how? We're going to, I promise we'll go over all of that, but we will, what we're going to do first though is choose our design and then cut it out prepare it and all of that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get out a mat. And this is a very large mat, by the way, if you didn't know, um, you can get a 12 by 24 mat. And if you're wondering, well, geez, you know, that seems like an awfully excessive amount of mat for this small little ornament. It is. Um, I just, this is my current mat that I've been working with and I don't have a brand new low tack adhesive mat at the moment. And the reason that that matters is because the material, the backing that I'm going to press onto here, a brand new regular adhesive mat would probably be a little too much stick. Um, it might cause a little bit of issue or a little bit of sticking that's not pleasant afterwards. Um, it wouldn't ruin it or anything, but it might be a little strong. So because I have a used mat that I've used a couple different times now, that's a regular adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And it just happens to be that it's a large one. So you don't have to, if you have a large format mat, you don't have to make large format projects on it. You can also make the small ones as well. So I'm just going to kind of scoot my machine into position here. Oh, well, man, I just have to point out because so many people know that I use that scan and cut for cutting things for my garments. And one thing that I did is I cut out panels for a skirt out of that. That thing is so long that you can actually cut out pieces of a skirt, pieces for your top, and do little cutouts and do reverse applique on your shirts. So easy, so simple. It's crafting and sewing all in one. It's so much fun. But that's the mat, and I don't have it here to show it, so you just did. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It's it's quite a mat. I use it now and again for – There's sometimes there are times when I want something that's taller than – exactly. You want it longer than 12 inches, and then this becomes the perfect mat for it. Or if I have a really large piece of material that I want to cut, but I don't want to chop it 
before I go and cut it up because I've got a lot of pieces to cut out, then again, it's fantastic. Oh. So we see, oh, we can see your scan and cut just great. Looks like, let's see. There we go. Okay, so I've got my mat loaded. And let's make sure we are here. And I think if I recall, let's see. There we go. I know there's a certain amount of tilt that I give you guys that gets the best screen. We can so see I that. have this, I call this my like my janitor's uh, key ring of, of uh, USB drives. There's the EMB, that's the um, embroidery ones. One of these is for up there. There's just a lot. But I keep them all on a ring so I don't lose them. The green one, though, is the scan and cut. And basically what I do on my computer, whether they're free or sometimes I purchase them from designers, but this is full of SVG files. It's also full of files from the Canvas software that the website that Brother has that is free with different designs. So it's got all of my data and all of my stuff. Now you can also do, there's wireless, you can do wireless transfer from your computer. The reason you don't see me do that is generally speaking, this machine's in the studio and there's no Wi-Fi in the studio. So <laughs> it can't connect, I would have to move it around. So that's why I use the USB drive, which it's waking up and looking at, and it's gonna pull up all of my files now this goes, I really, this is like a new year's project. I need to rename all my files because some of them like face shield is labeled or the word awesome is labeled, but a lot of them are not. And a lot of them like these that are late named kind of crazy names, SC, FP, I know, three A, part B and all that. Hey babe, will you just like lower, the screen has like a little bit of a glare that, there we go, now we can see. Thank you. you. Know, let me try to. It might be too darn sunny. I might try. Too sunny. Why don't you I come know, in here? California no. problems. <laughs> oh no, it does need to be. So it does need to be up there. Okay. Yeah, we can see that though. That's better. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just going. All of those. Those are all the Canvas files. So those are all kinds of really cool different files that I've downloaded from Canvas and want to. Um, do i'd like to do let's see is that the one so then when i think i've got the one i'll pull it up and like that one says hello winter but that is not the one that we want or it's going to be way too big so we'll keep on rolling down how about meowy christmas i think that was the one let's see here it is so that one says meowy christmas and these some of these files that i have it's kind of designed to be circular and i'll show you this one that i did oh that's cute so they're designed to be circular which is great for my ornaments now you can design your own of course you can you can go in here and you know create something of your very own i was just hoping to find them no, that's not it either well this is why i need to go in and rename everything because i thought i knew which one i had and it does not We'll go with Meowy Christmas. That's going to be a fun one. Okay, so once you do select your file, you can see I can keep going in and, in and out and back and forth. And sometimes it takes a moment just to read those SVG files. Sometimes they just take kind of a minute to read. Okay, so we're going to edit this. And you can see it's all one. It's letting me move it all as one. If for any reason it was multiple pieces, I would just have to select to unify it so that I could just move it around as one piece. And then we're just gonna make it smaller here. And my ornament is a little more than three inches, so we want it definitely smaller than that. I think three and a half will be fine though. Okay, and then I know that I can just put this up here because of where I've got my stuff centered. But if you're not sure, push that button there to scan. And what'll happen is it'll pull this through and it's probably not gonna pull all the way. Oh no, it is, okay. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't when I have not told it that I'm using a larger mat. 
that's always the mystery. Will it or won't it? It's so quiet. It really is. It's playing nice today. So you can see your file and you can see your material and make sure everything is within. Now for where you just need a little bit of patience. We are going to cut, but we're also gonna go here and we're gonna make sure that half cut is on. And the reason we're gonna do that is because then it will cut the vinyl the vinyl is on a backing, just like a sticker would be on a backing sheet. So the vinyl is on a backing sheet and we want it to cut the vinyl, but not cut the backing sheet. So by picking half cut, the machine will do that for us, which is super, super nifty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start and then this is just gonna take a couple of minutes to cut. So, by the way, that is such a great tip of using the half cut because a lot of people ask about the half cut versus the non-half cut and how, what to do about that. So, that's a great tip, May. So, very, oh, hey, while that's cutting, guess who popped in? Hey, Amelia. Hey, Angela. How are you? Good. What are you up to? Well, you know, I was just flipping through the Brother Holiday Gift Guide, and I was just, you know, I wanted to give you a call and let you know that there's some really great deals in here this year. I actually just got mine in the mail yesterday and I was scanning through it. So tell us what's in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. So of course, uh, you know, me being a huge scan and cut fan, we've got our new SDX 230DX and the SDX 225F. They both have their own great bundle ideas. So uh, you're getting a free rolling tote with the Disney machine. They're doing a $50 dealer discount on the SDX 225F. And then for the XP2, you're getting a free Luminaire bundle. And this has got some over $7,200 value built into that bundle um, and also a free wide table. So there's really something for everyone this year in the Brother Gift Guide. And uh, I also just wanted to call it out because it's really a perfect time to get out there and support your local um, community and your businesses, right? We have a Shop Local Saturday coming up. And some of these dealers are even doing curbside pickup or you can um, do an order over the phone. Um, so it's a really great way to support your local community and get some early Christmas gifts um, at a great deal at the local dealer. You know, I love that. We were just talking, I was talking with a group of girls that they were like, when is a good time to buy the Luminaire XP2? And I was like, mm, probably this weekend. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and so, so also for uh, the Luminaire XP2, I have shared this with the, many people that in that bundle is my Luminaire class. Yes. Which you Oh my gosh, there's over 50 videos in there where you can just watch, uh, learn how to use the machine at your own pace. And um, that's a lot of fun too. So that extension table, did you say that's in there this time? Yeah, the free wide table. So if uh, you get to your local dealer and you get one of these brochures, there's lots of information on the products in here. Um, and you can see, Angela, we've got your class right there. Um, so it really is a great time to buy a local and uh, from your brother authorized dealer. And this, these promotions are gonna run through December 31st. So there's still plenty of time to get out there and um, see what brother has in store at your local dealer. That's awesome. And also the scan and cut, because that's the one thing. It's kind of funny. The more we use that, some people will say, well, that's just for crafting. And some people say it's just why are you using it for sewing? Well, I've actually been doing some of the quilting features in the machine using some of the built in designs. And last week on Facebook Live, uh, one of the girls showed that where you can take that design, take it to the scan and cut, cut all the little pieces for the quilt in like three seconds, well, maybe five if you're slow <laughs> at getting it loaded. And then all the pieces fit into place. It was gorgeous. So now I've been trying that. I think I'm going to have some pretty cool Christmas gifts out of that. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the SDX 225F is a great uh, fabric companion. Um, and then we also have the new Scan and Cut DX Playbook, which is going to help you walk through all of the cool features that will help the Scan and Cut work between your XP2 or some of your higher end sewing and embroidery machines. And really kind of just takes that whole crafting sewing up to the next level. Yeah. And you know, uh, we were just talking about that as well, because Cindy wrote that book and that thing has been so helpful, especially taking designs from the machine, from the luminaire into the scanning cut and cutting appliques out. Like the, I love how the machines talk to each other. <laughs> I know, it's amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. 
So be sure, let's see, Saturday is a Small Business Saturday, isn't it? Well, we always have Black Friday, which now some of us are shopping, some of us are not. But the nice part is the dealer will carry the stuff out to your car for you, or you could just call in and talk to them. Small Business Friday is always one that we need to support our small businesses, especially this year. And then Monday, Cyber Monday, that's just where we all shop online. But you can still call your brother dealer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so actually, um, Amelia, a lot of the brother dealers have been featuring Facebook live shows and YouTube live shows showing off their products. So that's a great thing. If you don't know where your dealer is, go to brothersos.com, punch in your zip code, find out where your brother dealer is and check out their Facebook page because so many of them have been doing that and offering free tutorials which is such a bonus to learn your machine. Yeah, it's amazing. They're, they're really, uh, when it comes to creating that experience and helping you learn your machine, your local dealer is definitely where it's at. Awesome. So um, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Wait, I think, um, let's see, with Arnell. Arnell says you have beautiful hair, Amelia. <laughs> Thank you, Arnell. <laughs> so, Angela, I'll talk to you soon. See you, see you uh, in a couple weeks, I hope, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yep, you too. Bye, guys. Bye. I love this time of year when we get good deals. I've actually started my shopping on Monday. I get all of my Christmas shopping done. I don't know about you, May, but I kind of, um, uh, this is my favorite week of the year. I'm so bummed that there isn't like a massive shopping thing on Friday, but I'll get over it. <laughs> but I do know that I have actually been frequenting the smaller stores, including the dealer for other things that I need. I mean, they have so many things. They've got the brother thread, even they're great for Christmas shopping. I'm putting together baskets for my sisters. I hope they're not watching, but <laughs> that's what I'm doing this year. Oh, that's super fun. Yeah, I usually, so typically I'm done by tomorrow. Um, day before Thanksgiving is usually my done by date. And then I actually typically spend Thanksgiving weekend quiet at home decorating. So for right. me, I'm like this year, it's like, oh, you want me to stay at home and be quiet? <laughs> I can do that. That's what I like to do. I like to be, um, I like to do most of it now either online or the only sad thing is it won't quite be the same. Like I won't do quite as much, you know, just like shopping around for the fun of shopping around. But there's most of these small stores. I think that's a great tip about the dealers. A lot of these independent shops, they have Facebook pages or you can call them or they'll ship it to you. So if you don't want to go out or if you just don't feel good about going out, then you don't have to, they can send everything to you. Yes. And I also know that quite a few brother dealers, uh, a couple of them I'm working with in the next couple of weeks are doing live sales. They're doing live promotions. So be sure to check those out because it's a lot of fun. So it hey. really is. Did your machine, I think a quick cutting. Yes, it finished. So we finished cutting here. Let me put them out here and I'm going to move this out of the way so we have a little bit of space to craft now. So it moved out of the way and it cut everything out all nice. Now what we need to do, I'm just looking over here. because Hopefully I brought, let's see, did I bring my pick tool? I never know where that thing, I mean, that thing is always disappearing on me because it's my most used tool, but that's okay. So I like to use a pick tool on this because it just kind of helps me stay organized. Um, and I'll figure out where the heck I put it. But the other thing that you could do when you do your vinyl, you, number one, you want to work really slowly. You see how I'm just like very, very gently, slowly pulling all of this off. You don't oh, want to yeah. get in a rush. You don't want to get in a rush. And in a pinch, honestly, your stylus will work in a pinch if something doesn't transfer so like for example one of these little whiskers didn't come off so i can use really just something smaller than your finger you know something smaller than your finger to help you keep your stuff organized there and then it looks like i've got one more here that doesn't quite want to pop out sometimes it's like static it just kind of gets a little stuck there but we've got our kitty cat ears oh my gosh that's so cute and then I'll just, and I move slowly for two reasons. Number one, we don't want to tear the vinyl. Well, we don't want to tear the vinyl that we were hoping to transfer, right? We don't want a torn up Christmas ornament right out of the gate. We want to at least give it a chance. <laughs> so by moving slowly, I'm able to remove this. And then I can look at it and see if there's any little pieces that should have been kept. And if there's not, I just kind of turn it in on itself. And then this is where the pick tool, oh, there it is. Oh, 
So say, this is where my brother Pictool earns its keep because oh, it comes in that. here and it helps me get all the little bits of vinyl that we don't want. So that's really what weeding is all about. It's just about removing the pieces you do not want because you don't want to transfer them. So if you don't want to transfer them, this is when you get rid of them. And this isn't too much waste, but you can cut away when you're using your material, you can cut away as much as possible or fill as much as possible to get the most out of your vinyl. That's always an option. And it's not, you know what, this one wasn't too bad. This doesn't have, it has a little bit of weeding, but not that, not all that much. Okay. And then we see if I made this small enough or not, we're gonna find out. <laughs> if I don't, if I ever have something like this come up, and if, I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, we're gonna find out, but if I ever, and you see how I can move with the pick tool, I can move, if any of the pieces kind of got out of line, then I can just move it around, but you can see how cute that is. That's adorable. And it's all designed, it's all set. Now, the one thing I'm not sure about here is I think I made it a little, oh, well, it'll, fit, it'll fit, but it'll be all the way wrapped around, which you just kind of have to decide, well, is that gonna be okay for me or not? And if it's not, we can pull another one up real quick, but I think it's gonna work out just fine. Um, so one of the other things you can do here with this, if for some reason, you know, this is a little big, it is gonna wrap around my ornament. Um, if we decide that's too big, what we can do is we can save this. So this vinyl, we could just turn this into a Christmas card. Oh, that would be cute. If we were like, no, I'm sorry, that's too big, that doesn't work then we could just do that. Now what we can do, what I will do for this one, because it is it is a little big, what I'm gonna do is actually go in here with my scissors, and normally I would not do this because I want everything to line up perfectly, but I'm not, number one, I'm not gonna hurt anything by cutting around here. Number two, I'm keeping the words together, so the words will stay aligned, and that's really the most important thing and that's really why the vinyl is so nice because it lets you get those words all aligned really beautifully with very little stress, very little work. So if I do it this way, what I can do, and I'm just kind of pressing all over to get it to transfer. And I always love projects like this where, like I said, if I if I'm like, oh, that is a little too big and I'm not feeling like taking that chance, I'm worried that's you know not gonna work out well. We, there's always other stuff we can do with it. If it's too small, we can make gift tags. If it's too big, we can make cards or we can put it on gifts, like as just as decoration onto the gift itself. I was trying to do this upside down. It's so funny how this, how this happens where it's, sometimes it works better one way than the other. There we go. So all I'm trying to do is to get it, convince it to stick to my transfer material here. And sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it gets a little finicky. Sometimes it doesn't feel like cooperating. And if that happens, you just give it a little more of a rub. And sometimes I find lifting one way versus the other helps it decide to join the party. <laughs> It, they all have their own personality. Arnell says when she weeds, she usually gets them all over the place. Arnell, I'm with you. I end up with like with uh, <laughs> stuff stuck all. I have vinyl stuck all over me. Oh, well, sometimes I do. This was pretty contained, actually. Okay, so then what we get, what we're gonna do is just kind of position and figure out where we want it. And I like to just kind of start at one spot, usually towards the middle. And just, it'll start transferring itself off. Watch, if I start lifting already, it's already. Oh my gosh, yeah. So it wants, it doesn't want to stay on the transfer material. And if you run into something like I'm looking at this, oh, and it's a little sticky. Okay, it's not quite, it wasn't quite in the right spot. You can usually do what I just did and just kind of get under it and, pick it up, pick it up again. 
as long as you're being real nice and gentle and a little bit of patience, you know, a little bit of patience. Now you might notice your transfer material is like bunching up or not wanting to be smooth and that's okay because your concern is your vinyl. You don't care if the, if the transfer material wants to get out of town and move on. Oh, it's going to be so cute. Oh, that's going to be so cute. Okay. So we can move, we can move onward. And I'll tell you, these are addictive. I swear everybody gets one of these every year just because I like making them. <laughs> Cause they're so easy and fun. And the other thing you can do with your scan and cut, you can batch these out. So you can be making a whole bunch of them, right? Because you don't have to just cut one at a time. You could get, you know, if you're going to do meowy Christmas for the cat lovers, you could do them all at once and then weed them. And then you can kind of batch process or you can make them one at a time individually, depending on what, you know, what, what you like and what you have time for. Okay. And then again, we just repeat, you just always repeat the process. And I always say my rule with vinyl is I do not get in a hurry. <laughs> I do not get in a hurry. I take that it's going to take the time it needs to take. And sometimes that's a little more time than I think it should be. And that's okay. Because the only time I've ever had vinyl disasters is when I was trying to rush it and trying to be too fast. And it was needing a little more time. And then whoopsie. So <laughs> then for our next one, we're just going to go and do the same thing. And I'm just kind of looking at where the letters are. Oh, and it's going to be just lovely. So it looks like I overlapped my letter C a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. That's the other thing I do is I always remember we're, we're making handmade gifts here. So if there's something that you're looking at, and it's not absolute factory perfection. Well, guys, we're handmade. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to. I mean, having a really nice gift is obviously ideal. But if it's not absolute factory perfection, that's okay, too, because we're homemade, handmade stuff is should look a little, you know, there's, there can be something, you know, a spot where it's clear that you sat there and made it. That is just so cute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put our little kitty face on the back side so that if our ornament turns around. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so stinking cute. Right? Oh, I thought for sure you were going to be easy. Well, kitty face. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to play today. There we go. And the stylus is probably one of my favorite tools for when I have, I find that sometimes with the transfer material, it's generally, it's these really fine little pieces that want to stick or rather not stick. So I find the stylus because it's so, got that nice small little tip, it can be really helpful. Let's see, there's our kitty. I just have the most fun with all this stuff. Yay. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be so darn cute. And then, yeah, then we can fill it up with whatever you want to fill it up with. I'll just grab. Let's see. What do I have? I have some two large buttons. So, see, some stuff's going to be too large and you can't put it in. But I'll just show you just the way I do it. I just kind of put whatever it is, you know, that I had in mind whether it's sequins or beads or buttons or I don't know, whatever. I put like those little, uh, like little fake snow stuff. You can put oh, that in yeah. there and it gets all fluffy in there and that's really super cute. You can put whatever you want, but you're just going to keep adding stuff until you're, until you've got it all full and you're all happy with it. And then you gift it, put it on your tree, do whatever you want to do with it. But that's a really, that's a really fun one. And I actually, speaking of putting little stuff in things, I've got another idea that I can share with you real quick because it looks like we got a, you got a little bit of time, don't you, Angela? Oh, we sure do. Got a couple of minutes there. So I'll show you another idea. So this is a fun one. This is a gift tag and this is a piece of tool and any color works. This is the crazy thing I found about tool is when I get it, and put it, you can put it on a plain tag or pattern, whatever you might like. 
But I found that when I put the plain tool just like this and stitch it on, what ends up happening is whatever color it is, it kind of blends with whatever colors I'm using, which is crazy to me, but it's super fun. So what I'll do is stitch it on and I just use my machine to stitch it, but you could hand stitch it. You could glue it too. I just find the machine works the best. And then I just trim and no, I don't, I don't get very particular about, you know, exactly how carefully here. We're not trying to do that. We're just removing the excess. And then what I'm going to do here is use the scan and cut. This is a personal, personal favorite here. So we're going to layer this on. It'll be super, super cute. All right. Back to our scanning cut here. So I'm going to get my mat. So one thing, while you're loading that, while you're loading that, May, I see some people in here that might have older scan cuts and stuff. This one has an auto blade, so it automatically will know what you're cutting. You can set it to a half cut or a full cut, but it's an auto blade, so you correct. don't have to change the numbers on it. It's a little bit different. That's correct. And if you have an older model, then what you would do is you, you've either gotten to know or you do test cuts to find out where you want to set your number based on the material and based on how new your blade is and all of that good stuff. Test cut is really your friend if you don't have the auto blade. Yeah, but you can, any of this stuff that I'm making, you can make. You'll just need to manually adjust to create whatever that would be. Yep. And you could find more of these tutorials on May's website and her YouTube page, by the way, if you look at the website down below, Crystal. So I see you asking where to go. Check her website out. And you could also go to your local brother dealer for some demos too on this. Okay, so I just pulled up the little Christmas tree. And I think, yeah, maybe a little bigger. That ought to work. And then you can pick which part. We're just gonna pick the tree. And then I can put this anywhere I wanna put it. And then cut. And this time I have to remember that my half cut was on, so I have to go in and turn it off. Because if I half cut on cardstock, what's going to happen is then I'm going to have to manually cut. The whole point of the skin again is that I don't have to cut all that stuff out. <laughs> Which is not what we want to be doing. Right. I don't want to be manually cutting the tree out. So this is going to cut it out for me. We'll get this out and then I'll show you. I'll show you my little vinyl trick that's super fun. Okay, so we have our little tree, and then what I do before I move on here is I think I actually went, I think I was too small, so I made it too small, not a big deal. So what we're going to do is select the next part, and I'm going to ask it for another tree. Okay, and so I just need to go in here and edit because I know, whoops, I misunderstood my own, I thought I had, and that's how it goes with my crafting, I think I have it down. And then I realized, whoops, I've made a, I've made a mistake. Let's see. Now I am going to move this over a little more and cut it. Luckily, it's super fast. So when I make those mistakes, I go, oh, but that's okay because it cuts super fast. So the fun thing about the scan and cut with all these little goodies is I can make these little things. Like this won't go to waste. This is not going to get thrown away. I can do a lot of different things with it. I could... I'm not sure if I could roll it up and get it to fit in an ornament, but I can certainly put it on a decor piece. I can make a gift tag. I can put it on a gift topper. I love to wrap my gifts up and then put like little fun cutouts and things on them. That's always, always a good time. Okay, there we go. That's, that's significantly, significantly bigger and that will fit much better. So my oh, plan cool. is to put this, put this on here. And got another piece of this. I believe we can make this work here. So now I've got some black vinyl. And these are the ideas I'll tell you guys. These are the ideas I roll with when I'm sitting here and I'm playing with stuff and I'm getting inspired. I go ahead and roll with it instead of waiting because then I'll lose the idea and I'll lose track. So if I can, I try really hard to just go ahead and go with it. All right, so we're going to go in here and always, always my favorite this time of year, it says believe and it's so cute. I'm just going to make that small. Okay, that ought to work. 
And then this can be absolutely anywhere because I have my full sheet of vinyl. So I'm just gonna put it over here. And you guys remember, we're gonna half cut because it's vinyl. So now we're just gonna mix these all together. And that's just gonna take one minute. I love that, one minute. So I while that does one minute. While that does its thing, I'll show you here on this. With this, what you do with the tool, you just pop whatever it is you want to put in there. I've got a little gingerbread man. It looks like a cookie cutter. Oh what my gosh, it? that's so cute. Isn't that cute? I don't who knows where it came from. It's just I keep little containers of like, here's little Christmas random things. And then I end up, you know, using them all up for stuff like this. We can put little buttons, we can put more little little sequins, but basically you're just putting, you know, whatever it is you would like to have in there, you're just going to add in there. And I'm not going to seal this up right now, so we'll we'll leave that flexible. But you can see how, you can hear how fast my scan and cut got our vinyl ready. I mean, it's really, it really is true that we can have our projects in 10 minutes or, I mean, we can have a number of projects within 10 minutes or less. We can be doing stuff and having stuff done really super fast. So I cut that out because I don't want to waste like we talked about with the vinyl. We don't want to just, you know, like weed the entire sheet when we only need a little corner. And then this is one of my favorites though. It's so, so pretty. It's so nice. I probably, I think I use this little word cut file this time of year, I think it's my most used because it's just so much fun for anything. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I love that one. Almost there, just a couple more spots. And I always lift it up to the light to take a look and see, did I get all the spots? Oh wait, you know, there's one more. It's not the end of the world if you forget one, but it's just easier to deal. It's just easier to take a peek now and look and be sure than try to deal with it later. All right, so we've got that. We've got this piece and I'm going to add a little more. So I will post a finished picture on my Facebook and Instagram later today of the finished version of this because I have some more ideas now that we're, <laughs> now that we're looking at this. I'm thinking it'd be fun, fun to put some like glitter on the tree and I think it'd be fun to add some different elements there. That's but really cool. cool. Isn't that, but it's how easy, just real simple and like, you know, combining, combining our sewing with our and cut and now I'm looking around because somehow even though I brought a minimal supplies I somehow don't see where I put my transfer material oh. how did I manage oh, that you can play I spy at your studio the wolf pack's pretty good at that <laughs> it's funny when I do that it's it's hmm. well there's well, only like peeking. five items on the table so that's while you're peeking, I'm just going to show everyone, this is what she's using. So I saw some of you asking about the tools. So this is, these are all the tools. It's like a little scan and cut. And you can find that at your dealer. But these are all the tools in there, which help you pull out those. Well, pull, it helps with everything. There's like a thing of tweezers in here. I love this little kit. Oh, yeah. that. So I found it. I was just too efficient. And I had put it in the go back to the studio pile. <laughs> this one is the big one. This is the one she was using. This oh, yeah, my, that's probably that is by far my most used. This I literally had to keep it attached to my hip while I was cutting out all the new designs that came out this year that are really intricate. And this helps so much just to get the little pieces up there. And then here's the other one. This is <laughs> not to be taken into the kitchen. Uh, this looks like a little spatula, <laughs> but it works great for pulling up that. And the scraper for your mat. Oh, the mat scraper is great too. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, that's so cute, May. So, Crystal, here's May. Her website's like right down below at the bottom. Yeah. I'm just making sure that I put this. Actually, I can put it a little lower because I'm going to put a little star up there when I get back up to the studio and get to all the stuff. So, this, I can just transfer it on over. Love it. Love it, love it. Now, the one thing I will do, and I'll show you guys here when I finish peeling this off. So the one thing I will do here is onto the tool. It is sticking, but I'm going to, when I get back upstairs, I will put some liquid adhesive really lightly, just clear dry, dry, drying liquid adhesive or gel meat and matte finish something just lightly over the top, just so that it's sealed so that it doesn't flick up, but it's actually holding way better than I would have guessed to the tool. But isn't that fun? So we can, oh my gosh, we can mix and match. Cute. We can mix and match and take our ideas and take them from one project to a different project and have so much fun with it. That is so cute. Everybody's saying so cute. Actually, I just went and looked at the tree that I have hanging and I did these last year, which reminds me of what you're doing, where I filled them with, um, uh, what do you call that, wax and then put a bunch of shiny stuff. But now I love that with, with putting more things in there. <laughs> putting more things, or things on the outside and you can put multiple things on there or you could i mean it's up to you yeah it's, it's all the way up to you there's so much so many different ways that you can take this so cute in fact i think i gotta check this out may because when helped me carry up this tree yesterday oh <laughs> I really thought these were ornaments I was going to get to decorate, and it's not so much. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, I mean, They're you fish could. You put <laughs> but you put on Christmas lights. <laughs> oh, those are cute. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, May, this is such a good show. Everybody's saying this is so cute. Great inspiration. And you know what? This weekend actually is my favorite weekend to actually do deck to design decorations. I always do my own wreaths and decorate the whole house. Sometimes I get way too carried away. And then when it comes time for teardown, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're leaving this stuff up till like next year. <laughs> <laughs> but this year I've already started taking pieces out. It's just, you know, the lights and the holiday season is going to be just great. So everybody's saying thank you. Thank you. And yes, you can watch, rewatch this. So you can just either save if you're on Facebook, save it to your page. You can come back to the Facebook or YouTube page and watch anytime. We're on Brother Sews, Sewing and Crafting. And I left May's website down below. My website's down there as well. You might want to check it out next week. I've got a pretty big surprise for you starting on Sunday. And then there's Brother's blog for the Scan and Cut down below. And so you have that new project on there, which is going to be great, May. I do. I do. I have this wreath. And actually, there's a different variation of an ornament that should be going on there pretty soon. And then I also have a lot. I've had a lot of requests for like Scan and Cut DX, like 101 kind of classes. And I'm actually just this weekend. That's one of the projects is finishing it up. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun because what I'm going to do is actually mail everything you need. So oh, basically, I'll be amazing. like this Wonderful. in a box, like everything you need. I'm gonna mail you everything you need except the scan and cut, obviously. You have to have your own scan and cut, but everything else that you need and then video walkthroughs for all the different projects that we're gonna do. And I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I've had a lot of requests for that. So if you want information on that, you can go to either either my Instagram or my Facebook. There's links to all of that on there. Because I, I love making, and in this time I've really found such so much fun, like making little kits and then creating with everybody online is so much fun. Oh, that's awesome. So where do they find, they should, should they just go to your website to get information on that class? Uh, either either the face, um, Facebook or Facebook or Instagram, because those got updated this morning with links. So those both have. All right. So let me just bring up the Instagram. Well, the Insta, on the Instagram, it's just the link that's on Instagram will link you to where you can sign up for class if you wanted to do that. There you go. So then, I put the Instagram up above, guys. Oh, well, there we go. 
Yes. So, so efficient here. So, so easy. There you go. <laughs> or here on Facebook. Either way, whatever, whatever works for everybody. But that's going to be, that's going to be a lot of fun. I have so much fun. I have so much fun doing that too, because then everybody shares what they make. And it's been, it's been a, one of those 2020 silver, silver clouds, silver linings in the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Getting to Definitely. do more. And you know, to be able to be live like this with everyone has been such a, a gift. I mean, I feel like I've, I'm with people all day, even though we kind of are <laughs> not in person, but we are. <laughs> and Paul, by the way, if you're putting 43 trees up in your yard, oh my gosh. That's amazing. That would, like, that it would be, I want a picture. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly says, could she quote us on it? Because she's dying to put her decorations up and her boss might let them. Hey, you know what? We give the boss an okay. Get them up. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. You know what I think we have to do, though? We have to plan. Um, let's see. If we leave the decorations up till next May, we have to have something for Valentine's. <laughs> oh, we do. Red hearts. Something like that. Well, May, thank you. If you guys have questions, you can always send her a message. Leave questions here. We try to answer them. I saw somebody asking for help with their machine. Just call your brother dealer or call. Uh, there's a 1-800 number that you can get help at. And they're always more than happy to help. So uh, thanks, everyone. And May, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Are you cooking? I am. Yep, I've got. But most of mine is already done. It's either done or going to be done tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. I go way Congrats. ahead. <laughs> I, I'm not allowed in the kitchen, but I'm, I am allowed to decorate and make pie. And decorate cupcakes. That's my job. Well, yes, my realm, my realm is side dishes. I don't touch the turkey. My realm is side dishes and decorating. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, Elizabeth, I just saw your note. And if you ordered something back on 11 it should have been shipped. So just message me. That isn't a brother thing. That's a me thing. So you can just message me on Facebook. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving, May. I cannot wait to see you next month. I know. I'm excited. I've already got stuff in store. Excellent. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.